Hey everyone, welcome back to Q-Balls Reef. Today I wanted to show off my 10 gallon budget nano tank. This tank has been up and running for about one month. And I started off, I got my inspiration from Inappropriate Reefer. He uh, had his little 10 gallon budget nano tank. And I thought, yeah, that looks like it could be done. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So I've got about four pounds, eh, three pounds of live rock in here that I took from my bigger tank downstairs. I did go with a sand bed. This is live sand and I kind of spread it. I did half sand, half bare bottom just to kind of see what it would look like. And I'm probably going to spread the sand over the rest of the glass because from the flow I get in here, the sand just doesn't stay where I want it to. So I figured we'll let it go for a little while and see what happens. But this is after one month. I do have some algae growing in the sand, which I expected. And a little bit grown on the rock work. But the fish are happy. I've got two tiger striped damsels and one yellow tailed damsel. And as you can see, damsels will be damsels and are chasing each other all over the tank. My cleaner shrimp, he's doing just fine. Loving life in there. I do have two snails. These are Astria snails. And I have one big margarita snail in here. He's kind of hiding behind the rock right now. So a couple things that I've done in this tank. Um, I do have these rocks floating on the back wall. I used magnets. I still have to cover this magnet up because I just don't like the looks of it. But just getting started. Uh, I do have one uh, high door wave pump just to kind of create some of this surface tension, break it up a little bit to help with aeration. Um, yeah, I mean, it creates flow, but it's not really, its intended purpose is more of just helping out with oxygenation in there. Um, let's see, I have a heater in the back there that's from Petco. It's a 75 watt. It's doing the job perfectly, keeping the water at 78 degrees. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I did steal a couple corals from downstairs in my main tank. This is a uh, pink uh, leather coral. It's growing. I'll, I'll give it that. It's not really doing much, but it is growing and it is still alive, so pretty happy about that. Still some GSP from downstairs. Have it on top of the rock work there all by itself. It's doing rather well. These pulsing xenia, I really took a, uh, a risk getting these guys because I wasn't sure if they would make it in a new tank, but here we are. Uh, they've been in here for about two weeks, and they are just doing great, waving their little hands around and doing fine. Uh, some zoas that I stole from my main tank. I've got some dragon eyes, fairy godmothers. Well, you can't see those now, but those are, I believe, campfires. Down here I did some fragging, I guess it's not going to focus, but um, those are blow pops, and over here, which I guess you can't really see either because they're closed up today for some reason, <clears throat> yeah, it's a little more focused, but the Zoa Garden is doing well, um, they are especially under the blue light, just lighting up this side of the tank. And I'm pretty happy about that. 
Uh, as far as the light goes, I have this Core Life light that I got at Petco. I got it for only $20 because I had coupons. And it's been doing just fine. Um, it's on and off, but it does have a one touch controller for the blue and off and white. So I run the full spectrum from about nine in the morning until four in the afternoon. And then I switch it over from the blues from four and then the tank shuts off at eight o'clock. I did just upgrade my hang on the back filter. This is the Seachem Title 35. I was running just a Fluval before, um, just didn't feel like it was doing enough work. So did some research online and liked everything that the Seachem had to offer. So I went out and picked myself up one of those. Nice thing about this, it does come with this little media basket, um, and they send you some of their matrix, which I guess you can't really see right now because it's dark in here, but um, they send you a little bag of matrix. So I've got the matrix in this media basket, and then I'm running pyrogen for carbon and some poly filter pads. Now the reason I picked this, and the one nice feature about it, is it does have a surface skimmer so you can see here the water at the surface is being skimmed and then the pump underneath is pulling water in as well so you got two nice little features there plus the pump comes from Ciche and it is a self priming hang on the back filter so if your power goes out you're in luck because it will prime itself so that's a nice pump there nice hang on the back filter um, what else do we have going on oh I did start <clears throat> got these two big old water jugs under here so I have been doing a auto water change on this guy um, basically in the back here, I've got a JBO pump and I pump 150 mLs of dirty water out every four hours and 350 mLs of fresh water in. Um, I overdo the fresh water going in because it helps with keeping the salinity in check. Because I did have some issues where, due to evaporation, the salinity would go higher and higher. So I was having to add more and more fresh water in. So the salinity in the fresh water down here, I keep that at about 1.0. And here's the dirty water. I'm still doing a big water change about 50% every other week just to, you know, keep up with maintenance. Um, but that seems to be doing the trick. I never had really any trouble with my parameters. I had an ammonia spike um, on day two and I was dosing stability. It's back here. So I was using Seachem Stability. Um, this is the product that I've used on all my tanks and I just follow the directions you use so much on the first day and then every day after that you add more to the tank just to help get through the cycle uh, the fish I added after day four um, but like I said I I was testing every day just to watch my ammonia levels and had a little bit for that first week and since then I haven't seen any Nitrites were up for day one or day three through five and they went away and now my nitrates last time I tested they were at 10 and I like it. So so far so good. Um, you know like I said got a little bit of uh, 
algae bloom here, which is what I expected, being that we're only a month in. Um, usually when I do my water change, I'll siphon off that top layer of, oh, there's one of my, there's both my hermits. Got two little hermits in there, one blue-legged and one red-legged. Trying to add more, but nobody seems to have any in stock. So here I am just waiting to get more hermit crabs because they really do work in that sand bed. So that is it for the 10 gallon budget nano. Uh, if you like what you see, follow me on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram at Cuballs Reef. Hit the thumbs up button. I try to get a video out about once a month for now. Um, as I get more and more into this, I will try and post more comments or more content. But yeah, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you see. Leave me any comments, anything that you need to know. I'll try and answer. Uh, one last shot of the tank here for you. All right, cue ball signing out.